I'm Ali, and I'm on the product team at Code.org. In this video, I'll show you how to install and use Code.org integrations for learning management systems. Our integrations will allow you to sync sections, students, and teachers from your LMS to Code.org and log in with a single click. Let's get started. First, I'll go over how to install the Code.org integration for Canvas. If Code.org is already installed, you can skip to the next section. To install, you'll need administrator privileges for your Canvas instance. Start by opening the administrator panel in Canvas. Navigate to the developer key section from the left menu and click the add developer key button in the top right. Select LTI registration. Paste in the URL that is on screen. Feel free to pause the video here if you need. Provide your email address and click create registration. Then, click Enable and Close. To finish installing the integration, copy the key we've just created under the Details column. In the left side Administrator panel, scroll down to Settings, click the Apps tab, click View App Configurations, and click the Add App button. In the drop-down menu, select Client ID and paste in the key that you copied earlier. Click Submit. That's it, Code.org is now installed for Canvas. Next, I'll go over how to install the Code.org integration for Schoology. You'll also need administrator privileges for this. In Schoology, click the icon with four squares in the top right navigation bar and select App Center. Scroll this list of apps until you find Code.org. Click Install LTI App and add it to your organization. You'll be navigated to the My Organization Apps page. Find Code.org and click Install. Next, click Configure, and copy the left half of the string next to Deployment ID. Navigate to the URL on screen. You can pause the video here if you need. Fill in your school details, Paste in the ID that you copied earlier, and select Schoology from the drop-down menu. Click Register LMS, and that's it. Code.org is now installed for Schoology. In Canvas, Code.org supports two placement options. First, in your Canvas course, you can add Code.org as an item to any module. Just click Add Item, select External Tool from the drop-down menu, and pick Code.org from the list. You can also add Code.org to an assignment context. Navigate to an empty assignment, scroll down to Submission Type, select External Tool, and click Find to select Code.org from the list. In Schoology, Code.org will be enabled by default on the left sidebar of your course. You can also add Code.org as a link. From your course, click Add Materials, Add external tool and select Code.org from the list. Using Code.org integrations for your LMS is simple. In Canvas, click Launch Code.org from your placed item. In Schoology, navigate to a Code.org placement and click Continue to Code.org. If this is your first time launching, you have the option to link to an existing Code.org account or create a new one. If you're using Canvas, the integration will automatically detect the sections you manage, their associated students and teachers, and import them into Code.org. If using Schoology, you'll have to pick which section gets synced by clicking the section dropdown from within your course. Any changes to your roster will be automatically updated every time you launch from your LMS. Or you can sync changes manually by clicking the Sync Sections and Students button from the Manage Students panel within a section. When students click on Code.org, they'll also have the option to link to their existing Code.org account or create a new one. Students will be automatically logged into Code.org every time they click on the Code.org integration.
If you'd like to change where students are navigated to on login, simply edit the URL of the placement to a specific location on code.org and make sure it opens in a new tab. In this example, I'm changing the URL to point to a lab from our AI for Oceans course. Here you can see when a student clicks launchco.org, they are now navigated directly to the lab that we pasted in earlier. Please note that changing the URL away from a default value means that syncs won't happen automatically on launch, so make use of the manual sync button if there are changes to your roster. Finally, if you prefer to just use single sign-on and manage sections on code.org, you can turn off the roster sync feature from the sync confirmation menu or from your account settings. You can always turn roster syncing back on at any time from within your account settings. That's it. If you have any questions about the features you saw in this video or need additional support, you can click on the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to access additional support and resources.